Ebony, Ebony, Marvelous Paleo, Bow, 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 Bow. Hi, welcome to Ebony Mom Does Paleo. I'm Christina Aguilera, and today I'm making traditional guacamole. Okay, you're gonna need some cilantro, some avocado, some onion chopped. Roma tomato, yeah, Roma tomato, and this is a serrano pepper, okay, and a lemon, and some salt, salt people, okay, there's two people, there's two types of people with, when it comes to cilantro, people who love cilantro, and people who think it tastes like soap, <laughs> so, also, when it comes to avocado, there's usually two types of avocado. Perfectly hard as a rock. Or, oh my goodness, I gotta throw this away. But luckily today, I'm at the, oh, it's perfect. Okay. So you're gonna take your avocado, you cut it in half. You can use a spoon if you like. Oh, um, if you're ever on Royal Caribbean, they make an avocado. My husband's loved it, but I'm not making that because it's not a traditional guacamole. But if you're ever on Royal Caribbean, they sell this little gadget where it cuts the tom tomato, it cuts the uh, avocado, and it takes out the pit at the same time. And when it comes to your avocado, depending on who likes avocado in your house, you may need one or two. But my husband's not here, so I'm just making a small one to get to my daughter's husband. Yay! Okay. I'm going to rinse off my hands because I got avocado. Avocado. <gasps> motor you can buy uh, some at if your local Mexican grocery store or something I got this one it's wooden but you know whatever have to deal with it you're just gonna all of a sudden in it and with your cilantro it's one of those oh I should have a mask on because I'm one of those people who think cilantro smells like soap <laughs> but that's just me but I know a lot of people who love cilantro so that's why I'm doing it for you people who love guacamole. Okay, I'm stick some cilantro in there. Stick some onions. I'm going to dice up our Roma tomato. Like I said, if you Google Royal Caribbean guacamole, you'll find theirs. And that's one you can experiment with and go, oh, I like this. But this is a traditional guacamole. I'm going to stir it up. tomato in. I 
hate the thump, 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 but, you know, and a little more onion. Give it a squeeze of lemon. And top it off with some salt. My friend Janelle had an exchange student and he was from Guatemala. Sorry for the noise. And he used lemon instead, instead of lime. Most people do not use lime, but, if, but you can use either or lemon or lime. Traditional guacamole. It's also paleo, people. Okay, like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Okay, I told you, see you next time. My daughter's like, uh, what about the pepper? Oh, uh, I forgot about the pepper. Okay. Me, myself, and I, I guess because I don't eat peppers, I thought, thinking to myself, what do I need a pepper for? Okay. You're going to de-seed your pepper. Men. Okay. We're going to cut it up in little pieces. Oh my goodness. I don't, oh, my daughter's like, really? Really, Mom? You bought that pepper, you're not even going to use it. Oh, the best part about this pepper, I paid two cents for it. Yay! Okay. We're going to cut this up in little pieces. And you only need one pepper because it's extremely hot. So you don't need a bunch of pepper. So depending on, actually, because this avocado was so small, I'm only gonna use half of it. So you mix this up. And my daughter could have said beforehand, hey mom, you didn't put the pepper in. <laughs> She's just laughing at me like, mm. But you said hi and bye and everything else. Okay, now a spicy, a little bit spicy guacamole, traditional guacamole with my pepper because I forgot it. See you next time. This time I'm done. Like and subscribe. Bye. Ebony, 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 Ebony,